What's good YouTube, Ben here, welcome to the next video on the channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a walkthrough on how to get every single data card within LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. So if you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Please remember to hit that like button because it's really important for the algorithm. Don't forget to turn on that notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And don't forget to join me on my Twitches and my Discord. Those three links are in the description below. Let's get into the video. All right, so the first data card is here on Bespin. Um, so you want to either use a Jedi and a Scavenger, or you could just use Rey since she counts as both classes. Now, just follow along with me down these stairs. Turn right here, down some more. And then, when you get to these stairs, just jump over. You don't need to actually go down and round, just jump over. And then just follow, keep on following along with me. You'll know you're close. When you look at this, you see that big sort of weird rectangular statue thing. Now, when you get to right about here, if you jump on and pan the camera, you will see that there is a small alcove there that you can go to. So use your double jumper to double jump onto it. And then there'll be a wall here that you want to break. So just use your scavenger to get the breaker blaster and use the breaker blaster on the wall. You'll have to shoot it three times in order to break it. And your data card is right here. This will unlock the first data card. Data card number two is here on Cantonica and or, or Cantabite, whichever one you want to use. So just follow along with me through this pathway. Now you're going, going to need a grappling character, so any character of the grapple will do. So just follow along with me as I go through. It's a bit of a weird pathway for this one, but it's not too bad once you understand where it is. So when you reach this corner, we just want to turn. Go up these stairs. Then we want to turn down here. And when you reach here, you'll see a grapple point right here. So grapple onto this one, and then grapple onto this one. Grapple again. Grapple again. Grapple a final time. And data card number two is right here. The third data card is on Coruscant, specifically in the Federal District. And for this one, you're going to need the access to a Jedi. So any Jedi will do because you need to use the power of the Force in order to move some blocks when we get there. So just follow along with me. This one again is pretty simple. So you'll know you're close when you get to these stairs right here. You'll see the giant rock to the right. So just keep following along. Now, you'll notice to the right here, there's a building with a red wire coming from it. So this is where we want to go. Go to the left of the door where the red wire is going and you'll see a grate. Just stand on this, it should collapse. Now, as you run around here, you'll have to do some platforming in order to get through. That's not a problem. So just keep following this pathway around and you'll get to a little walkway bridge here. Let's go across that. And then in a moment, we'll do a couple of final turns to get to the final section where we need to be. So across another bridge. And then this is the final turn. And you'll see there are two blocks here with two red switches. Just use the force to lift the blocks onto the switches. And here is data card number three. Data card 4 is on Coruscant again, but this time we're in the Escru district instead of the Federal district. So you can use any character for this, so just follow along with me and we'll get to the fourth data card. So come with me down to these stairs, and you want to keep following these down. So when we get here, you can go down and round, or you can just jump over. Now you'll know you're close because this is where we need to be. You see this big mushroom looking building? Come close to the edge and you'll see jump platforms you can go to and then just jump across. And if we go around to the back, the data card is right here.
Data card number five is on Crate, and all you're going to need for this one is a character that can use a grapple. So follow along with me and jump up this ladder. Go up the next one. There's another ladder here. The, da oh, the data card is up there, so what you're going to want to do with your character that can use a grapple is jump and then press the button to grapple. And here is data card number five. Data card number six is on Dagobah, and all you're going to need for this one is a character that can use a grapple. So, just follow along with me, and it's a very short trip to get to this one, so you'll know you're close when you find these boxes. So just keep walking in this direction, and you'll see the data card is actually up here. So all you want to do is just come up to here, and you'll see there's a grapple point. If you use the grapple point and jump up here, the data card is right up here. Data card number seven is on Endor, and all you're going to want for this is a character that can use blasters. So just follow along with me as we go through. So you want to come to these stairs and just keep going all the way around and down. You will have to go down a few times in order to actually reach the point we need to. Now, when we get there, there'll be a small thing that's not very visible that you have to use a blaster on, and then it'll open up a hatch that will reveal where the data card actually is. So, the hatch we see is right here to the left of us, but we want to come down here. And if you look over there, there's a small hatch that you use your blaster on, and that reveals the data card inside of the hatch. Data card number 8 is on Exegol, and you can use any character for this one, it does not matter. So just follow this stud pathway until you get to this elevator, and you want to wait around on it for a moment whilst it goes down. Once it goes down, you can just jump off the end and just follow along with me around this pathway. So just keep going around here, and you'll know you're close when you get to this stairway. So just go onto it and go to the right, come round, and then you'll see a little jumping rope you can jump onto. Now you want to climb up to the top and you want to turn your character around. Oh, oops. When you get the thing to jump, just jump on here and walk across the pipe, and your data card is right at the end. Data card number 9 is here on Geonosis, and you're going to want to use a scavenger class character for this one. So just follow along with me, and you'll know you're going in the right direction, in a moment when you see that you'll need to use your net launcher right about here. So use your scavenger to pull out the net launcher and fire at these two points and then you want to grapple on and jump up. So jump onto these jumping platforms and then once you get to the top you're going to want to follow along, jump up the rocks and come up to here. Then as you do get to here, you want to drop down, jump around, and then you want to jump up onto these platforms. And your data card is right here at the top. Data card number 10 is here on Hoth, and all you're going to need for this one is a character that can use a grapple. So just follow along with me, and you'll get to this point here with some grapple spots. So just grapple onto this one, jump onto the next, turn the camera to the right, and you'll see a grapple point right here. Now this part can be a bit tricky because the grapple points are a bit position-based. So just grapple onto this one over here and drop off. Then turn the camera to the left and you'll see a grapple point over there, so just jump and use your grapple again to get over here. Let's just pop off of this one. Turn the camera to the right and you'll see some grapple points over here. So grapple onto this one, grapple again, and here is the 10th data card. 
The 11th data card is here on Jakku at the Nima outpost. And you can use any character for this one, so just follow along with me. So you want to run into this direction, and it's a little bit of a trek, but it's not too bad. So there are a couple of landmarks you can use to point out where you are, like that downed X-Wing. If you keep running in this direction, you'll also come across to the right, you'll see a downed TIE Fighter. This is when you know you're close. So on the left here, there's like a, a white platform. You want to just jump onto it and then jump into the center. And the 11th data card is right here. Data card number 12 is here on Kashyyyk and you, can, and you can use any character for this one. So just follow along with me and we will get to it. It's a little bit of a run, but it's not too far. There are a couple of notable landmarks to know exactly where you're going. But if you just follow along with the video, you should be absolutely fine. There's also a lot of stud pathways here that you can just follow, so it helps a little bit. So you want to go into this tree and keep following along with the bridge pathways. Now, a good landmark is right here. You'll go past this door on the left, so just keep going up the pathway. And then the second landmark is going to be this tiny door that you're going to go through, and then you want to go to the left, and you want to go up here. So once you go up here, you'll end up outside on this little um, platform. Jump across onto here, and then just jump across onto the next one, and the data card is right inside of here. Data card number 13 is on Kefbir, and you can use any character for this one. So just follow along with me, and you'll get to the card. Now there is some stud pathways you can follow that will lead you directly to this little village that we're going to be going to. Now, as you're running down, there'll be an entrance on the left, so you just want to go through this gate, and then go around to the right or the left side of this hut, and your data card will be right here. Data card number 14 is here on Mustafar, and you're going to need a character that can use a grapple for this one. So, just follow along with me, you want to go through this archway, and keep following through this door down here. Go straight through the door ahead, and there'll be one more door ahead. Then quickly run past these hologram tables, and you want to go across to this door. Keep following the stud pathway as we go through. Now, over here, there's a set of stairs. You want to go up and take a left. And then you want to follow along right. And you'll see that there's a big slope to the left. We want to go up that slope. So go up these stairs. And then over here to the left, this is a good indicator. You'll see four of these circles, two yellow, two blue. If you come to this edge, there is a grapple point down there, if you can see it. So use your grapple on that point. And then you just want to jump across, and jump across again, and there is the 14th data card. Data card number 15 is here on Takodana, and once again, you're going to need a character that can use a grapple. So just follow along with me, and we will get to the data card. Now, you want to go past the blue ship, and keep following the shoreline over here. Round here, you're going to see a pillar that has a grapple point on it, so use your grapple on it, and jump on, and there is a switch here. That switch will then raise a treasure chest from under the water, and inside of that treasure chest will be your data card. Data card 16 is here on Tatooine, or more specifically in the Moss Esper section. So you can use any character for this one, so just follow along with me and we'll get to that data card. Now this one can be a little bit of a puzzle getting to it, so... If you do get lost, don't worry, this one can be quite annoying to find. But as long as you follow along with the video, you should be absolutely fine. So, you'll know you're getting closer when you see a Bantha here. So just follow along with me. Now you want to run this way and under this arch. And you know you're getting really close when you get down here and there's a few sets of stairs. Go up this one. Go to the left, 
Go around to the back of this house and keep following this pathway round. And when you get to here, you are very close. Just run down to the bottom here and inside of this bottom doorway is the data card. Data card number 17 is again on Tatooine, but this time in the Jundland Wastes. And for this one, you're going to want to use a Jedi or a Sith in order to actually do this one. So just follow along with me and we will get to the data card. Now, following along, you'll come to this little pathway here. You want to go through it. And keep following around with me until we get to a landmark. So the landmark in this instance is going to be this house up here. So once you see this house, you'll know you're going in the right direction. Keep following with me and you'll see this big brown and white wall, which you're going to want to use your lightsaber on to climb. This is the reason why you need a Jedi for this. So use the button to attach and then use your lightsaber in order to climb. Now, once you're done, you want to quickly jump on these jumping platforms and get to the top. Next, you're going to want to go over here and quickly grab this and use the force in order to repair the pole. And then you're going to want to jump across. Once you've jumped across, keep following around. And then you will see down here that there is another broken pole that you need to repair. So use the force to lift this up and you'll see where the broken pole needs to go. Now jump back up. And then you want to jump across all of the poles again. Once you've done that, you're going to come across this little bridge here and just walk across it. Now Jawas will start shooting at you here, don't worry too much about them. Go up here and then you want to jump up here. Keep following with me and you'll see a little jump gap over here. Just double jump across and here is the data card. Data card 18 is again on Tatooine but this time in Mos Eisley. And for this one you're going to want to use a Jedi or a Sith character. So just follow along with me and we will get to the data card. Now, there are a couple of landmarks you can use to figure out which way you're going, but follow along with me and you should get there just fine. So when we get to this point, we just want to turn left down here. And then we want to keep following a little bit and then we want to turn left again here. And we want to turn around here. Now you'll know you're close when you see a bunch of liftable blocks. The data card is up ahead, but we want to quickly run over here and grab one of these blocks. And then we want to use the force and lift it all the way to over here. So just drop it right about here. And then there's another one here that you can lift. Just put this one on top of it. jump on top of them and then do a double jump up to the data card. Data card 19 or the final data card is here on Yavin 4 and for this one you're going to want to use a character that can use grapples. So just follow along with me and we will get to the data card and you can probably see it from here. So all you want to do is walk forward to about here and then turn around look up and you will see some grapple points. So use your grapple gun in order to grapple up, jump up, and the final data card is right here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's walkthrough. If you do want to see more content like this, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Please remember to hit that like button because it's really important for the algorithm. If you enjoyed, this is my first proper walkthrough of any game. So if you liked it, please let me know in the comments below or any improvements you want to see within the walkthroughs. Let me know. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And don't forget to join me on both of my Twitches and my Discord. Those links are in the description below. And I will see you guys next time.